I mean, how can we have a situation where you got one person qualified for the job? And by the way, tell me a, ca a campaign where Dick Cheney and AOC are voting for the same person. <laughs> what, what campaign is that? I mean, we're in Crazyville here. And the fact that it's that close is, is scary. It's really scary. So, Mr. Bell, how do you look at what's happening outside of the hardcore news and pol political environment? Do you think the contrast, as Rob sees it, is breaking through? I mean, you know, I think, Ed, Rob, and as you know, the, the reason why you can have this is that one person is completely unqualified and criminally unqualified for the job, and one person is qualified, but somehow it's a tight race, comes down to race and comes down to gender. Like, if Kamala was a rich white man, <laughs> the race probably wouldn't be as close, but Kamala wouldn't be Kamala if she was a rich white man. So I think it's clearly this, is, this country still has an uninvestigated race problem that we are afraid to investigate, and the MAGA movement is trying to push further and further down by taking books about race and racism out of schools, and therefore, com this race is neck and neck. And then on top of that, if this was just the popular vote that won the election, it wouldn't be tight. We all would believe that Kamala would win yeah. the popular vote, but we have the yeah. leftover yeah. slaveholder math of the Electoral College just to put a thumb on the scale. So it's, again, it's just a real indicator of how what this country is not, which is uh, democracy is what we tell our kids in school, but it's not what we're living. If Kamala was a rich white man, <laughs> the rich probably wouldn't be as close. Ah, this is really difficult.